Uh, okay. This is not a video I wanted to make today. Okay. I originally wanted to make a Bendy video today. You know, finish up chapter three, and then every Monday after we keep going until we complete it. But I can't say quiet about this shit anymore. I, I really can't. I can't. Here's why. Um, modern influence, the ones that are coming up, the young ones that are coming up from my generation, I'm Gen Z, I'm 23 years old. The ones coming up, the kick streamers and all the, all of them are pissing me off. It It's getting annoying. Because they're not good people. They're not. They're annoying as shit. All they want to do is cause havoc out in public that makes the entire internet hate them. It It's infuriating. Which ones are the ones that are always getting the shit? It's the ones that are always like the young ones that have already made it. That made it at a young age, made all that money, and now they're just going to cause havoc out in public forever. You know the ones, the Jack Doherty's, the Neons, all them. He's not even in my generation, but FouseyTube is also on there. He's also on there. He's a decade older than me, yet he acts like a child and I act more mature than he does. Make that make sense. It is. It has become so tiresome to watch coverage of all these crappy influencers from Kick. The ones that, like, you know, other guys as well, like Sneeko is also on there. All these people from Kick. Because I, I have no doubt that Kick has good streamers. I have, I am well aware that they have good streamers. I'm well aware the platform does have good streamers. The problem is the fact that they get overlooked by the crap streamers that are also on Kick. They're probably going to have a bit of an easier time that Jack Doherty got banned, Neon's getting banned. They're going to probably have a better time, you know? But what pisses me off is the fact that these influencers go out, do all this havoc in public, and basically get that of a slap on the wrist. Jack Doherty crashed his car with his buddy in the passenger seat. Crashes it because he was on his phone in a storm, you shouldn't even be on your phone driving no matter what. That is just that. That is, that. it's a law. You shouldn't be on your phone while you're driving in general. I don't care if you were trying to check chat, see what they were saying. That doesn't matter when you are behind the fucking wheel. It doesn't matter. But he crashed his car and forces his friend to continue filming. His friend is gushing blood. And he's telling him to continue filming. Hell, when people are telling him, turn the camera off, turn the camera off, he goes, no, this, this car was so much money, I gotta make my money back with this. First of all, that's a spit in the face of your friend, all right? He's hurt, and you don't care. That's a spit in his face because you don't care. He goes on and gives him a car, but here's the problem. If I was that friend that was gushing blood and you told me to continue filming, I'd be like, Fuck that. I'm turning this damn thing off. You don't get to tell me what to do. I'm hurt. I, your friend, Jack, can sue you. He can sue you for that. 
Then you get to guys like Neon, who are... <laughs> all these streamers are entitled pricks, okay? They all are. They're all entitled. They think that because they have this amount of following, their following is up here compared to me when I'm all the way down here, that they can get away without anything. What country was it the one that uh, arrested Neon? Was it Dubai or something? They should have kept him in jail. They shouldn't have released him at all. Um, because here's the thing. If they were to get arrested, if they were to, then it's a slap on the wrist because then they get released like because they have money. They can bail themselves out. It, it, it pisses me off, is what it does. Then you got Fousey taking advantage of a drunk woman in a airport. You remember that, right? You you saw the clip. The the clip happened. It's out there. The clip is out there. It happened. First of all, you don't take advantage of a woman, period, especially when they are drunk. When they are drunk, that and you don't know the person. Hell, if they're drunk, period, you do nothing. You maybe give them, uh, call them an Uber and get them home. That That's it. That's the most you can do. Or at least drive them home yourself. You do not do anything else. Or wait for their friend to pick them up. You don't do anything else. Then you got Sneeko, who, let's face If you want the Sneeko lore, I, I despise Sneeko with a, like, out of all of them, Sneeko's the one I probably despise the most. Just go watch Critical. Go watch Penguin Zero's videos on Sneeko. Uh, Sneeko's a predator, let's just face it. At this point, he, at this point, he is. He's a PDF file at this point because of all the shit he says. The fact that his favorite film was Cuties. The fact that, by the way, I am certain that he is curled up in a ball crying because now that movie is removed from Netflix. I am for certain he is curled up in a ball crying. <laughs> um... Yeah, you got all these terrible influencers. They're all like IRL streamers. Like, the ones that go on public. If you see an IRL streamer, be cautious of what they're doing. Don't encourage them. Like, if you see them, like, if they're sitting behind their, on their fucking chair, and they're in their office or at home, then fine, you can watch them. But be weary of the ones that go out in public. They're the bad ones. There was a streamer I don't even know the fucking name of who was causing havoc in public. And you know what the Jack and Neon have in common? They got bodyguards. They got bodyguards so that they could do all this crazy shit. And the person they annoy the shit out of that wants to kick their ass can't. Because the bodyguard's always going to step in front of him and go, try. Hey, motherfucker, I'll, I'll knee you in the balls and then go after Jack. You ain't, it's going to take you at least two minutes to compose yourself after that. Come on. I want to, I, I, you guys heard of the following that I'm about to say. There was a streamer that, uh, Kept getting in the face of this one guy. You know what this one guy did? Took out a weapon and shot him. Shot the streamer. Didn't kill him, but he shot him. And I want people like Jack Doherty and Neon to listen to this next bit. The dude that shot the streamer is only going to serve five years. 
The reason? <laughs> Wait till you hear it. It was an attempted murder. It was wrongful use of a firearm. She was found not guilty of the attempted murder charge. Meaning, if Chad Doherty goes out and annoys a member of the public, and that member pulls the trigger, he, he's getting off with attempted murder because the jury's going to find him innocent due to self-defense. Yeah, it's going to get labeled as self-defense now. So, why do these streamers continue to do this shit? Why? They probably see the fact that the guy is still going to serve time because of how he used the gun. How he used the weapon. As, oh, he's still going to serve time, so I can do whatever I want. He's still going to get out. Hell, might be less time due to good behavior. All depends. What happened to the streamers that actually are good people? What happened to the creators that are actually good people? I see them pop up from time to time, but it seems like every up-and-coming content creator is a dick. That's what it seems. It's pissing me off, is what it's doing. Because you got small creators like me and a bunch of others just sitting down in front of our computer, turning on the camera, plugging our mics up, and just playing some video games, doing stuff we like doing. Or you got people making list videos, doing their passion. Yet these people that go out and terrorize the public doing way more legal stuff than the person behind the computer's doing. And they're the ones that get the audience. Make that make sense. It is stressful. I needed to say something, all right? I can't just be sitting back anymore because it's really starting to piss me off because every time I open Twitter I see something about an IRL streamer that goes out in public and terrorizes people I always see it whether it's Jack Doherty Neon Sneeko sometimes Fousey I was really pissed with how TwitchCon went because when the kick streamers invaded, that pissed me off. And I was bubbling all that hatred up. I was trying to keep it inside because I don't want this channel to turn. I don't want to get big off of... If I do end up actually making it, I really, really want it to be with a gaming video. But if this, I don't want it with this. I know that a part of me feels like this is going to wind up being my most viewed video. Because my most viewed video is talking about a certain drama from a few years back. So part of me thinks that I don't want to make it with this video. I really don't. I want to just be me sitting down, playing an old retro game, maybe a licensed game, and then just having a good time. You know? It is stressful. It infuriates me of what the internet has come down to. With all those streamers, all those creators, all the people that are trying to make it. All the small creators trying to make it. 
that are actually good people get shafted for the terrible people. Make that make sense. That's all I wanted to say. All right. See you guys in the next video.